He has the best aim. Has dominated since the World Cup. Earned almost a million dollars. He is the best player to never win in FNCS. But by hosting the 2023 Global Championship in his home country of Denmark, is Epic Games creating the ultimate Fortnite storyline. So let's get right into the story of Thomas HD. Thomas Hexborough Davidson, known as Thomas HD, is a true Fortnite veteran. Thomas, it's, uh, it's 10 top 10 FNCS finals for you. And what is even crazier is that he's still getting better, placing top three in the last two FNCS grand finals. It's been an incredible career in which he has achieved everything but a major tournament win. All the way down below, traversing that water now, and Thomas is a machine! So what gives? Why has a player with almost 20 Cash Cup wins, insanely consistent performance, win the big one? And what lies in store? Thomas HD, whoever's cursed him, please, oh. just allow my boy, please allow my boy two points away, basically, from being a champion. How many times is he gonna come so, so close? This guy deserves it, man. Uh, you know, hopefully he's not too down in the dumps in terms of, I, I, I know how much he wants to win. He's so passionate about winning everything he does. Born in Denmark, he was a great gamer from the start. Playing games like CSGO. The first time I heard about Thomas was when one of my old CSGO mates told me that he was teaching a really good student at my city. We were going to local land and the student said to my friend that he would beat me at the land for sure, like he would bet on it. Fortunately, I ended up winning and he came third at the land. But then we bonded from the get-go, like he stood behind me when I played and I stood behind him when he played. Thomas HG's first big Fortnite tournament was Winter Royale in 2018. It was solos and he ended up placing 90th. But in 2019, Fortnite announced this is your road to the Fortnite World Cup. The World Cup was back-to-back -back solo and duo tournament with 10 weeks of qualifiers, five for each game mode. Thomas played all 10 weeks and in solos, he came closest with a 17th in week five. But in week 10, the last chance to qualify for duos, Thomas and his duo, Klusha, showed a flair for the dramatic punching their ticket to New York. Serpent and Hype, Wolfies and Rojo, Skite and Vato, Four Winds and Tux, Kluja and Thomas HD, and then finally Puzz and Ming. In New York, they played well, coming in at 21st, but he was just getting started. Season X is here. Epic Games announced they would be starting the Fortnite Champion Series. And he and his family took his career very seriously. After the World Cup, we decided uh, to pull him out of the, the school and focus 100% on eSport, Fortnite, because we realized that he was very, very good. And the last year, he has only be become better and better and better. Thomas teamed up with Elecrats and Klusha for Season X, and they managed the top 10. And then onto the black hole in Chapter 2. But he did not qualify for finals of Squad F and CS, so he would have to bounce back in Chapter 2 Season 2. And while Thomas HD had a successful career, it was at the point he vaulted to the top of a region, 18th in Grand Finals. But he would close out Season 2 on a heater, winning a solo cash cup, qualifying for the finals of the FNCS Invitational Solo Tournament, coming in fourth and solidifying himself as a Tier 1 superstar on his region him here he's gonna have to make a play drops down coming through is gonna get the elimination there on to nate Pete going down as well savage goes down to queasy big names have fallen and thomas is reigning supreme among them nice edit on the backside going back in the zone trying to shake and bake the player is gonna get the elimination there on to king boca as shots go through from the high ground here the players trying to make this happen edits coming through shots coming through thomas is gonna be right on top of him. he does hit the hundred so what does a newly appointed tier one pro do? Finds a goaded trio. In season three, Thomas teamed up with Flick and Anas, and they started strong. In their first four cash cups, placing fourth twice, then first and first. Chapter two, season three was another solo FNCS, and he didn't quite match his invitational performance coming in 18th. But season four was trios, so Anas, Flick, and Thomas could stake their claim on the EU region. 
People loved season four, AKA Stark season. And it's FNCS was an absolute banger. We did a video on it. Check the link in the description. Mongrel, Mitro, and Tayson were making waves with their electric play style and unique team dynamics. Thomas, Anas, and Flick were still one of the favorites going into grand finals. They played insanely well coming in first place in their heat. Winning games? Surprise contesting Mongrel, Mitro, and Tayson late in the tournament and beating them off spawn. But ultimately, falling just short, coming in third. They stayed together in season 5 and picked up right where they left off. Coming in second, his closest placement yet. After a second and a third, you think the next logical placement was first? But after season 5, he hit a minor swoon based on the insane standard he had set for himself. 4th in Season 6 Grand Finals, 5th in Solo All-Stars, and failing to make it past Heats in Season 7. Team, and then you had Flick, Anas, Thomas HD miss out on Top 6. He teamed up with the Season 6 champion, Queezy and Anas, for Season 8. They started slow, finishing 8th in Grand Finals. But then... It's not good. I will be number 1. 2021 ended with FNCS Grand Royale, and they gave it one more go. They won their qualifying session. And played great in finals with Thomas making multiple highlight plays. Patrick Lucia and Sapphic all the way from Dirty Ducks. 92 tag to the dome. Thomas HD still pushing for another 56 tag. Another three tag back to back. Thomas HD going for the Royale. Down he goes and Queasy with the heel up. Ending the year strong with a third place. He also joined the famed Danish esports org Astralis as their first ever Fortnite pickup. They're a great team. They've always had the potential. They're on top right now. Great pickup. And while 2021 had proven him again and again as one of the top players in EU, a big tournament win still eluded him. Epic announced 2022 would be duos all year for FNCS. FNCS next year will be duos for the whole year. And Thomas joined with the perfect duo to break his curse, Tayson. By that point, Tayson was a four-time FNCS champion and they were ready to take chapter three by storm. But another grand finals and yet another third. He would switch teammates for the rest of the year, teaming up with veteran player Trippern and then lands came back. Epic announced the FNCS Invitational in November, and that qualification would be based on FNCS placements. So what did Thomas do? He wanted to lock in his qualification, pulling out a third in season two grand finals, and then a sixth in season three. On to Raleigh. While he and Trippern weren't favorites, they were expected to perform, and they did, coming fourth. Thomas firmly cemented himself as a top 10 player in the world. So going into chapter four, he had succeeded in every way, all but that elusive FNCS win. But Fortnite was about to serve a great storyline on a platter for him. The 2023 FNCS Global Championship would be in Copenhagen, Denmark, his home country, and each major of the year would provide qualifying spots. But going into 2023, he would need a better teammate for sure, a tier one. That was Malabuka. And in Major 1, they played incredibly. It came down to one last game. The closest he has ever been to losing to Tayson and Mustache by just one point. However, they did earn their spot at Copenhagen. Oh no, Malabuka loses it! But yet again, a second. He did come third in Major 2, but that was never close due to the sheer domination of Queezy and Venno. So after Major 2, He's clearly the best player to never win an FNCS, coming ever so close, always. And as of filming this video, he has just won the DreamHack Dallas Zero Bills tournament, meaning he's qualified for Gamers 8 in Saudi Arabia. Thomas HD, whoever's cursed him, please oh. just allow my boy, please <laughs> allow my boy two points away basically from being a champion how many times is he gonna come so so close this guy deserves it man uh, you know hopefully he's not too down in the dumps in terms of I, I know how much he wants to win he's so passionate about winning everything he does but if this was hollywood and let's hope it is he will win his first major tournament at home in denmark 
In his legendary song, Times, They Are Changing, Bob Dylan said, the loser now will be later to win. And we know for Thomas HD, it's only a matter of time. Thanks for watching, like, sub, and check out our other videos.